Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fearless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punch Wally Garage and Fearless Services, also Easy Riders Dallas. So this is the OG shirt. When I opened uh, 28 years ago, I was Easy Riders of Dallas for the first six years. These are throwback shirts, Strokers Dallas merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. We have them. So, it was a harrowing drive to work this morning. We're having really bad storms, and I mean, it was a, uh, it was tough coming to work. So, I drive a Tundra, four-wheel drive, it's got a lift kit on it, and it's got big tires. If I was driving something else besides that, I wouldn't have made it. I passed dozens of cars stalled out because of the water so here's a here's a little hint for you if the water is high and you and you can see the water and you're driving one of those little cars that are only a few inches off the ground you ain't gonna make it you're not gonna make it and I mean, I get it if you can't see the water, but when it's raining, and if you've been around more than a minute and a half, you know which areas flood. You got to use your brain and turn around if it's uh, uh, the roads flooded out. I realize it's 2 a.m. and there's drunks everywhere, and all the drunks are stalled out. In one case, there were two cars that had floated, and they're blocking these two lanes, so I had to jump the curb, go through the grass, and around them. It would have done me no good to try to pull them out, because I, I don't have anything to pull them out with, and they were just sitting there with their flashers on. I'm sure... I'm sure most of those people that were stranded were uh, on their way home from the bar. What normally takes me 15 minutes to come to work took me 45 minutes. They're doing a bunch of construction so the roads are all flooded out and they don't have the draining drainage done yet. Okay, today is Thursday, October 26th, year of our Lord. In my life, the 365 project is going to take us back to 1964. So my first memories of what ignited this passion in motorcycles, me and my dad and my brother had gone to a polar bear ice cream. We were coming out, and we had like a... A, a cone with a dip of ice cream or two, I don't remember. And a guy had pulled up on a chopper, long chopper. And I'm just fascinated and I'm walking past him and I'm look, holding my ice cream cone and I'm looking at him, looking at him. And I ran into one of the support beams and my ice cream fell. And my dad laughed and laughed and laughed. And he said, the motorcycle is going to get you in trouble, boy. And it, it, it uh, upset me. He said, come on, let's go get you another ice cream. I said, I don't want one. I don't want one. But it's just, I'll never forget that chopper and how cool it looked. And how I thought, man, wouldn't that be nice to have that thing? And now I'm the guy with the cool choppers. Check the truck. Check that truck. You big old. Hey, look at that. Woo! Woo! Look at that. So these are some type of camo. You've got the camo green logo. You've got different patches of camo. White toe, white toe, double black racing stripes, white shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. These are some handsome shoes. Okay, got that there. Uh, let me show you this. 
for all of y'all that have been asking for the pocket tees, we got them. So it's got my logo on the pocket, which I always thought was cool. And then it's got the big logo on the back. Okay? Pocket tees. You want it? We got it. Strokers Dallas Merch. M-E-R-C-H dot com. Dad joke. I just burned, uh, yesterday I just, I burned 200, 2,000 calories yesterday. That's the last time I'm going to put brownies in the oven while I take a nap. Slang. Yesterday we used the word lift, meaning steel. You know, you'd go in and you'd lift something. Today we use the word cob. You cob that? You cob that! Cobb is the same thing. It meant steel. Steel. When we were young, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, it, the word was cob. Don't cob that. Did you cob that? And then when you got in high school, it became lift. That was the cool word. Motivational minute. Be there for others, but never leave yourself behind. So what does that mean, Mr. Fairless? Be there for others, but never leave yourself behind. That means, man, help all the people you can. Do what you can, but you got to help yourself. You've got to make sure that you're okay to be able to help others. Be there for others, but never leave yourself behind. I like that one. So this rain has... Uh, they're predicting rain the rest of the week. So the, the, the party, the anniversary party... Uh, could be rescheduled. It's no fun to have a party if you're just in a constant rain. So I'll know more about that tomorrow. I'm still bouncing off the walls from that drive to work. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. The Three Stooges. The guy that got them started, his name was Ted Healy. And Ted Healy had a vaudeville act, and he needed some goons in his act. Some stooges. So he had Ted Healy and the stooges. The stooges were uh, three brothers, Mo, Shemp, and Jerome, which was Curly. And then their friend, Larry Fine. Well, they went out on their own because they didn't like Ted Healy was, even though they had known him all their lives, he was a drunk. So in the little known facts, Ted Healy had been out to a bar drinking and he got into a fight or he got into an argument with a, uh, an associate of Lucky Luciano a reported mob boss, and Ted Healy was beaten to death. And that, boys and girls, is the rest of the story. Okay, I hope you got good weather where you're at. It's the end of October, which means that Thanksgiving's coming and the cool weather's coming and all that stuff. Strokers Dallas Merch, M E R C H dot com. Y'all come in and check these out or check them out online, but don't try to cob one. Love you, bye.